What is up guys, it's your boy Gunso and welcome back to a new video. Fun fact, this video was brought to you by Dashlane, more about it later in the video. I noticed that a lot of you guys, uh, newcomers as well, really liked my video on Scarlord's chair for some reason. That was a really, weird, that was an interesting video to say the least. So I decided to <laughs> hop on the wave of my video and uh, I'm gonna make a Scarlord type video today. It's kind of an interesting thing because it's kinda, kinda combining his old style, like 2016-17-ish style with the new one, so kind of more trappy but with weird melodies at the same time. You'll see in a second. Uh, I actually prepared some melodies, some really interesting melodies, and I will be doing the drums and everything and mixing them and so on and so forth. So. Let's just jump into it. So as you can see, I prepared four uh, melodies. Actually, two of them are melodies. The other two are kind of sound effects or just filler sounds to kind of tie them together. Uh, but nonetheless, unmixed, they sound like this. <laughs> now, the last sound is a bit weird. It's kind of glitchy. So what I'll do is actually just uh, export it as a WAV file and then, you know, use it as a WAV file just so it doesn't have any uh, weird clicky noises. So I'll just put down the, the pattern and I'll just split it right now. It does actually have the click in the beginning, but that's no problem because the sound that I used is mostly a noise. So the clickiness doesn't really matter that much. As you can see, it's not really tied to the BPM or anything. So that's perfect. Okay, so now that I linked all of them to the mixer track, I'll start by EQing uh, the first melody, which also has a halftime, because normally it's gonna sound like this. But I feel like it's a bit too fast for what I'm going for, so adding that halftime on 1-4 and, you know, 2x with a slight band change, like I'm letting some of the original frequencies in, it sounds a bit more interesting and it's kind of combining the fast paced uh, pattern with something a bit more slow, more fitting to this style that I'm going for. Now let's actually EQ this one as well. All right, so it sounds pretty good. Now it's actually time to somewhat arrange it a bit and then actually add the drums. So I'll probably start with this weird pad, you know, this one, and then add the crash sounding thingy right at the drop or the verse, and then, you know, keep looping these and so on and so forth. Okay, so now that I arranged everything, it's time to move on to the drums. I'll actually be using Gansos Drum Kit Volume 5. You can find it in the description. So I'll be choosing some hi-hats, some kick some, you know, actually one kick. You know how it goes. Wow, okay, so someone tried to actually uh, log in into my Twitch account. Again, well, that's a nice segue to today's sponsor, which is Dashlane. Dashlane is a mobile and desktop app that gives you a shortcut for everything you do online. It saves all of your passwords, credit card and personal information safely in one place so it makes the internet a one-click autofill experience. You might be asking yourself, how does it work? Well, it's quite simple. You can download the app for free, create a master password and synchronize all of your information. Oh, and here's a fun fact. Dashlane doesn't even store your master password. So if they were hacked, all of your encrypted information would be 100% safe. And the password manager not only stores your passwords, but it can also generate really, really complex ones. Imagine the matrix wall of text. That's basically your password, but more secure and more crazy looking than that. You can also save all of your credit cards inside of Dashlane. So if you want to buy something on Line, you don't have to actually type the wacky numbers every time and trust me it makes a difference and if someone actually tries to hack you you'll get a security alert so you can change your really secure password into something even more secure another really cool thing about dashlane is that it has a built-in vpn which means that if you want to watch a specific show on netflix that's not in your region no problem all you gotta do is turn that bad boy on and you're ready to go and i'm not just saying this because dashlane sponsored this video but someone actually tried to log in into my twitch account multiple times and i kept on changing my passwords and i still tried tried to log in, but since I actually used Dashlane for my password, I didn't get a single alert. And you can download Dashlane for free on your first device by using the link in the description. You'll also get a 30-day free trial of premium and you don't need to use your credit card to sign up, which is a win-win. 
All right, so back to making the beat. As I said, we'll be choosing some drums. I'll start with the hi-hats, then add some snares. Let's do it. Now for the hi-hat, I want something kind of clicky, but not really, so something like this. Let's make a new pattern. Let's call it hi-hat. And let's start with a simple two-step pattern. But I'll actually remove some of them and keep it really simple, really groovy. Something like this maybe for now. And maybe I'll add some background rolls kind of. Now for the kick, I'll probably go with this one since it's a pretty simple and trappy kick. Okay, so something like this sounds pretty good, pretty clean as well. Now for the snare, I think this one is pretty good. And let's add some uh, filler snares, like this one. It's literally named filler snare for a reason. Okay, so I added this tiny, tiny snare roll, not really a roll specifically, but you know, just to spice it up a bit. And it sounds pretty good. Now let's add some open hats real quick, and then it's time to move on to the 808. Okay, this is pretty good. Now, the fun part, which is, as I said, the 808. I don't know if I want to go for something quick, like a short 808, or like a mid 808, kind of like a short and semi-long 808 as well. You'll know what I mean when I choose it. I'll probably use this one, but make it a bit shorter, so increase the out. Like this. Let's add the envelope to it. And let's see if it's actually on C. Okay, let's add a G tune, which is a free plugin, uh, basically for guitar tuning. So it allows us to see uh, the exact pitch of the 808. So I need to increase uh, the pitch to 18 cents. So it's pretty much on C. Now let's make the pattern. So 808. I'll actually place it underneath the kick and um, I'll solo the kick and the melodies with the 808 as well just so uh, we can get an idea on the pattern. Now I'll probably use these uh, notes as slides so Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the 808. I actually duplicated it, so I made the pattern twice as long, only because I actually want to change the order of these two, so I'm just going to change their places. Like this, so the first part is going to end like this, and then the second one is going to end like this. Just, you know, for variation's sake. But that's about it, honestly, with the 808. It's pretty melodic, now all I gotta do is actually EQ it and do some post-production thanks to it. Also, I forgot to increase the velocity. What is this? But I mean, yeah, this is pretty much it with this video. Huge shout out to Dashlane for sponsoring it. You have the link in the description if you want to sign up. I really suggest you do because not only that it helps me, but it also helps you stay safe on the internet. Also, if you want to support me directly, you can uh, buy my drum kits. You have the link in the description. But yeah, it was your boy Gunso, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.